My name is Kwesi Mahini. I'm an artist from Ghana and I'm here with the Village of Arts and Humanities to do a series of collaborative projects with um, artists based here. When a, a speaker or an artist comes in, they tell us a bit more about what they do, how they do it, their inspiration and so on. Tonight we feature Kwani the Clown. Yeah, Kwani. Oh, Kwani. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Next thing you're for. Clown and dates back all the way to medieval time with Grimaldi. Grimaldi was the first um, clown ever. The clown is more relative to the average day human being, which is the exaggeration of ourselves. You see a guy, a finest guy doing trapeze, you're like, oh, that's awesome, but in your head you don't say, oh, I'm gonna go climb up there, I'm gonna start flying. You, you don't think you just go up there and start flying. But if you look down, like, oh, look at the clown making people laugh. I can do that, all of us are silly. Laughter is universal. For me, it's more of, I'm learning, I'm seeing people do this, I'm seeing them do that. Okay, how can I become that person for somebody else? And they can look at me, learn from me, and be inspired to do what I do. We have an open mic event, and it's free for all. Um, hosted by Kwani the Clown. Hosted by Kwani the Clown. Please come by, and let's continue um, our interactions. October 27th, it's going down, cross the street. Kwani the Clown, go forward, come on down, open mic. See, that's how you gotta do it, then people come. It's been an intense process of uh, developing the ideas, building the team, the relationship between the team members. It's really been intense, but so far we've done, I think, a good job. I never knew I'd be a clown. I did a, my first birthday party for a family member, and it's like the bug bit me. I couldn't stop clowning. I was hungry for knowledge to learn more. I wanted to be better and better. How far would you go to make your dream come true? I think, man, I'd do anything to uh, make my dream come true. Like one day, I seen the Ring Umbrella Clown auditions in New York. I said, man, I gotta go there. I asked my parents, they was like, no. You ain't going there, you don't know nobody in New York. I call my friend Jeff in the morning, six o'clock in the morning, like, Jeff, we ain't going to school today. My dream gotta come true, we going to New York, I'm going to audition for Ringling Brothers. Like, I really wanted it. When I got there, I gave it my all. But my all wasn't good enough. It was good for me. All it did was make me want to dream more, train harder and harder. As I walked through my neighborhood, watching the trash-filled streets, I remember I have a talent that is new and very neat. It's here to heal, but not to hurt. But the environment is crazy. Me and Tammy, my best friend, she also works here. We were walking and saw the open mic going on in Ileife. We started seeing Kwesi around all the time. Paintings, wow, they were huge. And it was just so much detail. And I just thought like if I really had the patience to try and do that, I think I could do it. And I want to. I come here and just paint tables. <laughs> I listen to music and paint. It's just like something new for me. I take it a lot more serious now. I just wanna learn more about it. Well, I'm here, we're celebrating um, an event for one of our dancers who was fallen, who I got killed last year. So we're celebrating his life. So we're at the exhibition opening for the Spaces Artists in Residency. 
we have an open mic happening as well as we have our studio open. This neighborhood, you know, there was there was always a lot of talent. Sometimes there's an assumption that um, talent is always supposed to gravitate towards something on its own. But if there's no vessel for what that is, then it's just wandering. To me, this is success. To see something continue is, is success to me, more so than, well, I did it, <laughs> you know. To see it come together in this culminating, I'm very humbled by it. Thank <laughs> you.